This is part 42 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the Bootstrap Tabs plugin. Let's understand the Tabs plugin with an example. Let's say how to create these three tabs, Home, Contact and Locations. Locations is a drop-down. Let's flip to Vision Studio. The first thing that we are going to do here is create an unordered list with two classes, Nav and Nav Tabs. Inside this unordered list, let's create a list item and inside this list item, let's create an anchor element. For now, let's point its href attribute to hash. And on this anchor element, we are going to use data dash toggle attribute. The value for this is going to be tab because that's what we are creating here. And if you look at our first tab, the text is home. So let's include home within the anchor element. Along the same lines, let's create our second tab. The text for the second tab is going to be contact. Now let's go ahead and create our third tab. And if you look at our third tab, it's actually a drop down. So on this list item right here, I'm going to use drop down class. And again, we have an anchor element here. The href attribute is pointing to hash. The value for the data toggle attribute here is going to be drop down. And we are also going to use drop down toggle class on this anchor element. And the text for this third tab is going to be locations. And if you look at you know this third tab, we also have a little downward pointing arrow indicating that this is a drop down. So to get that little downward pointing arrow, we're going to use bold element with class caret. Let's say, for example, we've got office locations in India and USA, and we want those two countries as drop-down menu items. So we need to build our menu items now. To do that, we're going to create an unordered list with class drop-down menu. So inside this unordered list, let's create a list item. And inside this list item, let's include an anchor element. And this is going to be India tab. Let's create another tab for our office location in USA. So we have created our tabs now. We need to create content for these tabs. So to create content for the tabs, we are going to create a development. And the class on this is going to be tab content. Inside this development, I'm going to create another development. I'm going to give this div an ID. Now, this div here is going to contain the content for our home tab. So I'm actually going to call this div home tab. And the class on this is going to be tab pane. And inside this, we can have any HTML. So let's include an H3 element here. So let's say home page. Let's also include a paragraph and home page content. Now similarly, let's include you know tab content for the rest of the tabs that we have. So I'm actually going to make three more copies of this. And let's change the text here. I mean the ID here to contact tab and the text to contact page, contact page content, and this one is going to be India tab. And let's change the text both within the H3 and paragraph element. And finally, this is going to be our USA tab, USA page, and USA page content. All right, so we have the tabs and the content for these tabs, but they are not linked at the moment. To link these tabs with, it, with their respect to tab contents, we're going to use these IDs. So I'm going to copy the ID, and we have the href attribute. We are going to use the jQuery ID selector, which is hash, and we are pointing to the home tab pane. Let's do the same thing with the other tabs that we have. So this is going to be contact tab. This will point to 
India tab and this will point to USA tab. Let's save our changes and when we reload our page notice we get our three tabs home contact and locations but at the moment none of the tabs are active let's say on the initial page load we want this home tab to be active and it should display the home tab content like this so in order to do that on this list item right here I am going to use active class and we also need to use this active class on the respective tab pane so here we have the home tab pane so along with the tab pane class I'm going to use the active class let's save our changes now when we reload this page look at that home tab is active and we can see the tab pane content as well we have the contact tab we have our locations when I select India we have the India page content now let's look at some of the classes that are useful for customizing the behavior of the tabs plugin fade this class animates the tabs to fade in let's use this fade class on all the four tab panes that we have here let's save our changes reload this page notice we don't see the home tab content that's because when we use the fade class we also have to use in class on the first tab pane to make the initial content visible so on this first tab pane which is our active pane along with the fade class I'm also going to use the in class let's save our changes reload this page now the content is visible and look at this when I click on the contact tab the content slowly fades in nav justified this class makes the tabs plugin span the entire width of the parent container at the moment notice the tabs does not occupy the entire width of the container now if you want these three tabs to occupy the entire width of the container then along with nav and nav tabs classes here use nav justified class let's say what changes reload this page now notice the tabs plugin span the entire width of its parent container. Thank you for listening and have a great day.